Yesterday, I was speaking about why learn Latin. And I could add to that, I suppose, Greek. One reason I didn't mention, I talked about all of the Latin that's been written since the time of the Romans. But there's one thing that's going to be a game changer, and that is the villa of the Papyri in Herculaneum. When Herculaneum was excavated on the outskirts of the town, a massive villa was found. And the workmen came across these curious sticks that looked like bits of wood, and they started to burn them in their fires until somebody realized that these were books. The only original library that's come down to us from ancient times. And the books were carbonized. They were turned into lumps of, of charcoal. Attempts were made to read these, and in the process, a number of them were destroyed. And in the process of unrolling them, all kinds of problems came about. These are very fragile. They just turned to dust in your fingertips. In uh, 1990, a um, project started to try to get into these using electronic means to scan through them. And so far, we've had quite good success. We can now see the layers of papyrus inside the scroll without unrolling it. And we can reconstruct by uh, cutting through with a scanner and tiny, tiny layers the structure of the papyrus inside. What we can't do yet is read the letters on the papyrus, but that's only a matter of time. And when that happens, a large body of texts from the ancient world in their original form will suddenly become available. Not only that, I believe that once the technology is reached to allow us to read the texts that have been excavated so far, that are still rolled up inside their carbon tombs, then pressure will come to excavate the rest of the villa of the papyri, of which more than 2,800 meters remains under that volcanic solid, solidified mud of Herculaneum. The funding is there. The, um, it's all there. The, the um, guy who um, inherited the Hewlett-Packard fortune has said he will bankroll the excavation of the villa, the only thing stopping it from happening now is that the authorities in Herculaneum do not want any new excavations to take place. They want to try and preserve what's left of what of Herculaneum has been excavated, which is all falling to pieces. In my view, yes, the, the excavated Herculaneum is very important, but far more important are the words and those books. I believe in our lifetimes, probably quite soon, we will have the ability to read what's on those scrolls. And that's going to give us an enormous amount of literature, and it's going to change our view of the Roman world. Much of this literature is philosophical in nature, but there'll be all kinds of things there. There already are all kinds of things there. For example, we have an original text of Lucretius on the nature of the universe, a text that's only come down to us through one copy, and we've lost the original copy that survived through into the Middle Ages, and our original copies now are simply transcriptions of those and the Editio Princeps, the first printed edition. Um, so here we have a text that's very corrupted, and we have the original available to us in the Herculaneum Papyri. So that's, that's another reason to learn Latin, and of course the Greek, well there's an enormous amount of, of Greek material available there's far more Greek literature from ancient times surviving than there is um, Latin literature. But the difference is, is that Greek literature at a certain point in history died and the Latin literature just kept going. Um, in fact, there is an unbroken chain of publication in Latin right until now. So there are still texts being published in Latin in our times, far, far fewer than previously. Um, I was just discussing with uh, a friend of mine recently um, about Latin novels. There was a burst of, of writing novels and translating novels into Latin in the 1600s through to 1700s. Um, so if you want to read novels in Latin, well, there they are. The earliest novels in Western literature um, were written in Latin, copying the models of uh, Petronius and Apuleius. 
So, more reasons for you to learn Latin, more reasons to become fluent in Latin, more reasons to start to train yourself to think in Latin, which is what the Latinum course is trying to get you to do. Most Latin courses are aimed at translation. I believe translation is a very high-level skill, and your first goal as a student of a language is to try to immerse yourself in it so that you can think in the language. And only once you are able to think in the language can you become a skilled translator out of that language. Voilà.